In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to get the most out of your 3D mini bike. If you haven't done so already, download a free copy from www.toolsforwork.co.nz. The PDF file is around 15 megabytes. Next, open the PDF and you'll be greeted with a cover page. This PDF has four pages in total, which talks about apprenticeships, a quick guide, and some frequently asked questions. If you want to get straight into the action, left click on the cover page. A yellow warning stripe might appear as you attempt to activate the 3D functionality for the first time. Simply click on options and choose trust this document always. The 3D mini bike should appear now when you click on the cover page. The overlay taskbar provides all the functionalities. The default action should be rotate. To use a rotating function, simply hold down the left click on any part of the bike and move your mouse around like this. The next action is spin, which spins the bike around three axes. The pan action allows you to drag the bike around without rotating it, ideal for adjusting the mini bike when you zoom in or out. The default view action returns the bike to its fully assembled view when you first open the PDF. If by any chance the mini bike disappears from the screen, you can either use the default view action or right click on the grey background, parts options, fit visible. Under the views drop down menu, you can select from a range of predetermined views which are components in respect to the main frame. Remember, you could use the default view action to assemble everything back together. The toggle model tree action allows you to see all the parts involved in the mini bike. And as you click on any component of the bike, the relevant part name will be highlighted on the model tree and vice versa. This functionality is particularly useful when trying to figure out what each part is called. The remaining actions are purely cosmetic and you can do a mix and match to make the mini bike look the way you like. Clicking on the projection icon switches between orthographic and perspective projections. The Model Render Mode action allows you to render the bike in many different ways. You can render each part individually by selecting the part, right click, part options, part render mode and select the way you want to render that part. The lighting drop down menu allows you to choose what kind of lighting the mini bike is exposed to. Finally, the background color action allows you to change the background color. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and have fun playing with the 3D mini bike.